Hey, I'm Jerick120 and in this three-part series I'm going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. For this first tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to solve the top layer. See, you can solve one color or one side, but it doesn't mean that it's correct. The entire layer also has to be correct. The edges to the corresponding color have to be correct for this layer to be right. Now before I dive into it, I want to tell you some fundamental knowledge that you should know about a, a Rubik's Cube, a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube at least, is the center pieces are fixed. So like, if you see a blue piece in the center, this whole side is blue. If you see the green center piece is green. No matter what pieces I move, that green piece in the middle is going to stay the same, and the same goes for every other side. So that's important to know uh, when building this, is that the centerpiece is that color. The way that I'm going to teach you guys is the way I was taught, and that's to build in layers, is to complete one layer, followed by the center layer, followed by the last layer. And we're going to run into things called algorithms. It is a combination of moves that solves one common uh, piece or side, and it's something that if we do it enough, it will reset itself. So that was an algorithm, but it, I just did the same algorithm over and over and over, and we got back to the same result that we had in the beginning. So you're going to have to learn these moves, but uh, it helps with your memory, and that's just uh, the way to learn how to solve these. And finally, the way that we're going to look at this and talk about this cube is on different sides. So the top side is U for up, the bottom side is D for down, F for front or face, there's the B for back, or behind, and then there's L and R for left and right. An algorithm uses a combination of these moves written in the description so you can follow along, such as R inverted, D inverted, R, D. That is an algorithm, and that same combination is the one that I was doing in the beginning that eventually resets our move, our puzzle, back to where it was. That's just an example of one algorithm. Now when you first get a Rubik's Cube, it moves relatively uh, mechanically, it doesn't just slide and maneuver around. So a way to fix that is to take your cube and turn it to uh, one piece to the side, like this, 45 degrees, and you're going to pop off this middle piece with a screwdriver or with your thumb. You can do it sometimes. And what you're going to see is an opening in the cube and you just take some Vaseline and you smear it around on the inside and you just smear it around with your finger and it's going to give the cube a looser feel. And you can do that with multiple sides of your cube. Just make sure you don't overdo it. So the first step in solving a three-sided Rubik's Cube is to make a T or a cross within your cube, much like this. See the blue cross of the blue T? That is what we're going to try to go for. And a tip for doing this, deciding what side you want to start on if you are trying to do this quickly, is look at the opposite side and see if there are blue pieces in the edges as well. We have the center, we have edges and then we have corner pieces. So you look at the edges and there's already a blue edge already solved here, and then there's two blue edges here, which are going to help because the easy way to fix this is to just take this blue piece, rotate it up. You can take this blue piece, rotate it up. You can take this blue piece that's on the underside, rotate it up, and, you, and there's our last one, rotate it up. So now we have that blue cross blue T symbol. I just moved that blue corner out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So we have this blue cross blue T, but it's still incorrect because the edges also need to align with their corresponding pieces. So such as this, this blue edge is correct because it's with the blue center and then its corresponding piece. This yellow piece is correct because it's with its yellow center. Much like this red one, see? Red with the red, blue with the blue. But then we move here and this layer is now wrong. It's going to be wrong if we keep working at it. This blue edge has to be swapped with this blue edge. So let me show you from scratch how to go about making these. 
Regardless of what side's easier for you to follow on your cube, let's just both solve the white side together. So on the white side, if you have a white edge up top, the easiest way to go about fixing this is look at its corresponding edge. So it's white, white, and then this piece is red. All you need to do is to rotate the top layer until the white piece aligns with the red side. Boom. So that side's already done. Now we need to start recreating the T all across the board. So we need to look for the other white edges. Here's a white edge. Here's a white edge up here. And there's a white edge down here. So let's start at the bottom of your cube. So we have this white piece. If we look at the bottom, there's a white edge and it's already lined up with its orange piece, so that's correct. If the white edge were anywhere else on the cube, on the underside of it, the way to go about fixing that is find the corresponding piece, orange, rotate it around to where it lines up there, and it's on the underside of the white, and then you rotate the front 180 degrees, and so now you have this line forming. So now we only need to solve for the two more edge pieces. So the way to go about fixing this is to turn it out of the way so you can rotate these pieces, keeping these in line and intact to rotate that piece up with the center piece and rotate it back. So now we have the green, the orange, and the red all correct. And now we just need to finish it off and solve for this blue edge. So this is the same exact thing that the green one had and we can go about fixing in two ways. We could do put it in the same position where we had the green, rotate the top out of the way so we're not screwing this side up, rotate it up and have it like this. Or what we could have done is where it originally was on the right side, we could have done the same thing but in an opposite way Instead of rotating the top piece clockwise, we could have rotated it counterclockwise, rotated this up into place, making our T, but our layers are out of sync with each other. So all you have to do is turn it, and so now all the center pieces are correct. So now we have to solve for these corner pieces and get them in the right spot. So although this white piece is in the corner correctly, it's in the wrong piece because these corresponding layers and edges have to be correct. So this piece actually belongs over here. The easiest piece to solve when doing this is if you look around your cube, you may more often than not find a corner that's the white piece, the piece you need, facing to the right on the underside like this piece, it's perfect. And it's actually in the perfect place because if you look at the corresponding edges, it's green, this is the green side, and red, this is the red side. So this is actually where we need to be. If your piece is over here and you look at it and you say, okay, I need the, I need the red side and I need the green side, well, it's stuck in between red and blue. That's wrong. All you have to do is keep spinning until you find or until you get to the red and the green side, and there it is, red, green. And this is where we're going to do our first algorithm with this piece in this position. And the algorithm is right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And what that means is holding it this way with this piece to the right in front of you, the white side up, you're going to do right inverted. And what that means is counterclockwise. Anytime you just hear right, left, up, down, front, back, you know, or just the letters corresponding to them, uh, it means rotate that piece clockwise. But if you hear inverted, it means rotate it counterclockwise. So what this is, is right inverted, down inverted, right, down. So if you look, that put our piece right into where it needs to be. The white on top, the green with the green, the red with the red. So now we just need to do the same thing, but for the other three remaining corners. Here's another piece that's correct, except it's flipped. You know, the red should be here, the blue should be here, and the white should be here. So we can do that same algorithm with the white facing up. We can go right inverted, down inverted, 
right down and that brings that white piece exactly where we wanted it to be and right where we need to be where it was before facing the right on the underside so again right inverted down inverted right down and that puts that piece on top wow it's coming together already it's looking pretty so now we have two remaining pieces left again this piece is incorrect because the edges are wrong this piece needs to be swapped out with this piece so although we know right inverted down inverted right down we could go about fixing this in a couple different ways but i found a shortcut to fix this particular piece so this piece is where we need to be but the white isn't facing the right it's facing us so here's an awesome way to fix it and make it go faster you want to bring that piece over to the left so it's facing this direction and still on the underside and you're going to go simply right inverted down right boom and that put our piece right where it needs to be now what we could have done is I could have left this piece where it was originally and I could have done right inverted down inverted right down a bunch of times until our piece eventually got to where it was and that's why it's an algorithm so you could go about doing the right inverted down inverted right down a bunch of times or you could use that nifty little shortcut that I showed you so here's this last piece again it's the perfect piece for what we want except it's orange and green so we need to bring it over to the orange and green side just like that and again it's one more right inverted down inverted right down and with that you have solved not just the white color but you solved the entire first layer and that's a that's a cool that's a cool little thing now we have to go on to move the second layer I'll have a uh, another tutorial up to learn that piece I'm Jarek 120 be inspired to learn aspire to disturb and always rise above no!